Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Keyboard Kings. So in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Type Matrix 2030 keyboard and doing a quick unboxing. So this keyboard is an interesting keyboard. It's a membrane keyboard, but it actually feels like a mechanical keyboard when you're typing on it. It's considered an ergonomic keyboard. It's it's an ortholinear keyboard, so all the keys are together like a checkerboard rather than staggered like a normal keyboard would be. So if that's something you're into, then you might be into this keyboard. So unlike other keyboards, with the spaced out keys. This one actually has um, keys really close together. So when you're typing on it, it, it's actually more comfortable for your hand. It's less strenuous. The build quality on this is also really strong. There's pretty much no flex to it. And it's, it's plastic material, but it's definitely high quality plastic. So for the price, you're definitely getting a good high quality keyboard. The keycaps are super smooth with a slight texture on the top of the keycap. All the legends are flush with the tops of the keycap. You don't feel the legends. There's also no RGB on this keyboard, so if that's something you're into, you're not going to see that with this keyboard. But some people don't like RGB, so if you're one of those people, then you might be happy to know. This keyboard also uses scissor switches. So if you've ever typed on a laptop, then this is similar to how it feels. Though I think it feels a little bit better than typing on a laptop. It's close. So if you're wondering what the switches feel like, then that's a good way to have sort of an idea how this keyboard is going to feel to type on. It also has a USB wired connection. It's not a braided cord, it's just the regular the regular cord. It's pretty long though, about I don't know, about six feet or so. So you got plenty of room to move the keyboard around if you need. So just going over the best features of this keyboard, like I said, it's an ortholinear design. So all the keys are straight together. They're not staggered like a standard keyboard. Also, if you're into Dvorak keyboards, Dvorak keyboards, then you can get this keyboard in 
in that layout or you can do what I did which is buy the standard keyboard layout but then buy the Dvorak key co uh, keyboard cover that way if you want to practice with Dvorak and see if it's something you want to get into then you can just put the Dvorak cover on top of the keyboard and now you have a Dvorak layout and then you can always take it off if you don't want to use it and it's super simple to change the layout of this keyboard to Dvorak you just you just press the uh, function key and then up here on the F keys you can see one is it changes it to Dvorak one, and then another one will change it to Colmac so you can also get the Colmac version if you preferred also another great feature is the high build quality it's it's a very solid keyboard and then another great thing I like is that the shift key is super long and easy to access and it also goes vertical long ways rather than side to side which I find to be easier to press the key that way so then the function keys on this keyboard there's a lot of different each key has multiple things that they can do but you can easily figure out what they do by looking at the blue colored buttons the black buttons are what they normally are and then when you press the function key it functions as the blue colored um, letters so it's a great feature but based on the way that this keyboard's designed they pushed a lot of keys that you need to normally use onto the function row which makes it a little bit awkward depending on what you're trying to do but most of the common used keys like just the regular letters and stuff those are all on their on the main row function row so it's not a big deal but some things depending on what you need to do it could be a little bit annoying but it's not it's not a deal breaker so a couple of flaws in this keyboard is it's a little bit too compact for some people they might not like how compact this keyboard is depending if you're like a bulkier person you might not want this keyboard as it might be a little bit awkward trying to huddle over it and trying to cram your hands especially if you have big hands it might be a little bit awkward typing on this keyboard you might prefer a keyboard that's a little bit bigger and not so pressed together there's also a lot of redundant functionalities like you'll see on the function row there's the numbers like the numpad but then also on the regular keys there's also numbers so it's a bit excessive and there's also on the function row you have the enter key and then just above it you have another enter key on its own on the main row so it just becomes a little bit redundant and just takes up space that it doesn't really need to and another big thing is the arrow keys they're kind of just positioned inside it does they don't get like its own little side section like a normal keyboard they're kind of just crammed in there and they're super close together it kind of feels awkward to, uh, if you need to use the arrow keys a lot it just it feels weird on the left side of this keyboard it has that big section there where it just has the lights to let you know what things are activated such as the nums lock caps lock scroll lock but that section they probably could have made that section a little bit smaller and use that for more important things like moving some of these keys that are trapped onto the second layer and gave them their own layer such as keys like the insert key some people might need need to use that key and they still have it but it's on you have to press the function key to use it so they could have just made better use of that space and gave more keys their own place so how does the type, type matrix 2030 compared to other similar keyboards so overall keyboards in this price range the type matrix is one of the better ones but it's definitely not the best if you compare it to something like the logitech ergo k8860 keyboard they're both pretty similar however the type matrix offers the dvorak and comac option whereas the logitech ergo doesn't have those options as far as i'm aware but if you compare it to some of the other more underrated brands like the Parix, the type matrix actually underperforms compared to that and it's also cheaper to get the other keyboard however this keyboard is the design is a lot different than most keyboards so if you're into this type of design or you're looking for a keyboard 
that looks like this and feels like this, then it really can't be beat. So looking at some frequently asked questions, um, do the keys on the Type Matrix 2030 use mechanical switches? Is it a mechanical keyboard? And the answer is no, this is not a mechanical keyboard. It feels a lot like a mechanical keyboard, but it's not. It's a, it uses scissor switch keys. It feels more like a laptop keyboard, like I've said. So it's not a mechanical keyboard. It's a scissor switch membrane keyboard. Another question, is it easy to hit function and use the function arrow keys on a type matrix? And from my experience, it's not really that difficult to press the function key and the other keys at the same time. Um, obviously, you're going to need to use two hands. And it might take a minute for you to get used to where the position is and everything because it's not laid out like a normal keyboard. But it's really not that difficult once you get the hang of it. Another question is will the Type Matrix 2030 work on a Linux machine? And as far as I know, I don't own a Linux machine, but from my research and looking on forums and other people talk about this, it seems like the Type Matrix should support should support all software platforms such as Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. So you shouldn't have to worry about compatible compatibility issues. It should just be a simple plug and play. So in conclusion, I think this keyboard is definitely super friendly to your typist people. But if you're more of a gamer type of person, you might lean more away from this keyboard. I don't think it's super geared towards those types of people. Um, so if you're, if you're doing a lot of typing or maybe programming, I think you'll really like this keyboard. But if you're trying to play a bunch of games, then just imagine playing games on a laptop and that's pretty much what the experience would be. It's definitely not ideal. If you're looking for a high quality ortholinear keyboard, I definitely think you should take a look at the Type Matrix. It's definitely high quality. It's great bang for your buck. I would definitely recommend checking it out. So leave a comment in this video what you think about this keyboard and if if you bought this keyboard yet, did you have the same impressions as I did? And then also, if you found this video helpful, click the thumbs, thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, Keyboard Kings, and I'll see you on the next one.